Hello, Fred Suomi. This is my second video about Glowplugs. Um, here is the link to the first one, which was uh, a little bit of theory. So the second one will be more practical, and is to show you exactly how to service Glowplugs on that, that type of engine, which is a special engine. It's a boxer uh, e diesel engine from Subaru. So I divided this video in three parts. Of course, the easy part you can see here has been already removed to get access to the glow plugs. I will come on that later. But more importantly, maybe all the viewers might face some difficulties to get access to the glow plugs on the left side. It's a bunch of stuff to be removed. So my aim is to help you and to, con to make you uh, aware that this job is absolutely um, um, accessible to to main of us with basic tools and the basic tools are here and I will come on that in details a little bit later just to for you to get the right tools because getting the right tools is the job half done so right side battery has been removed I'm not going to tell you how to remove a battery but maybe for the left side I will start I will start to remove this stuff so we get access to the cover plate. This special plastic screws are always a little bit sensible, so I recommend to turn only, you just fit it here, a quarter. The, the screw will be will lift a little bit, but with a screwdriver, you just ease to lift it, and then off you go. This is the air intake going to the air filter. Now, this is the cover plate of the ECU. Exactly the same approach. A quarter, just lift, and off you go. Quarter. And the last one. Off you. Here. So quite nice. What needs to be removed is here. ECU, one connector, two connector, three connector. So for the connector. You just put it here, just lift, just lift. Here you can show exactly what needs to be pulled so the lever can be lifted up. And when you lift up, the, con the connector slightly comes. The last one on the back, you got a lifting lug, you just pull it, it goes automatically. Here, be gentle, be gentle with the wire. Just do it like that. And so to the bottom. One bolt, two bolts, a nut. Two bolts, one nut, nothing more.
one. Here. Here. Gentle put above. That one gently put aside. And here you have the cover plate of the glow plug. Here you got a plastic holder. Just take a screwdriver, just lift it like that on the other end, and off you go. Now, I don't know if you can see it, two screws. One screw on the top, one screw M10 on the bottom. I use a very nice tool for that, which is that one. So with a limited space you get access to the head of the bolt. more tricky on the bottom I don't know if you can see okay always the boxer is so amazing engine but my goodness to get access to some easy bolts sometimes it's a nightmare so be sure to grease these balls when you feed back the cover plate so it would be not a disaster after 100,000 kilometers when you need to service the glow plugs again. So here we go. Of course, I'm sorry for my fingers, you don't see a lot. Here, here you go. Now, a little bit tricky is how to get the cover plate out because the space is quite limited. The first thing to do is that you just take it, take it out, you just put it here, get over, Be tricky you have to find your own way be gentle with the wiring and it will come like I told you the the glow plugs has been already serviced and normally you have the spark plug which are here which has been already removed one two just to show you the glow plugs. I hope you can see them. Here, under my finger. Now, the right tool. 10 millimeter long socket with a small quarter of inch, inch basic extension. And here, Okay. Additional extension. And off you go. Like I told you, I just made a job, so it's not a surprise that the glow plug is coming off easily. To count about 12, important for you to know. Um, the M10-1.25 thread needs 12 rounds to be loosened. And it's important to count these 12 rounds because 50% of the time the glow plug will start to beep. Of course you do it with a not a totally warm engine but warm engine to ease the clearance between the thread and the glow plug. And then when you count about 12, mainly the glow plug 
start to beep. In this case, it's not because, like I told you, I just uh, removed the glow plugs be before making this video. Let, let me explain you exactly what is interesting to do when they start to beep. Why is a glow plug uh, beeping? When you turn the 12, the 12 turn makes that the glow plug has been removed from the head. Let's suppose my finger are the head. It means now it's a clearance between the end of the plug and the carbon deposit. The beep and the noise of a glow plug is coming from the carbon deposit of the clearance between the head and the glow plug. And um, after 100,000 kilometers, it's really a very demanding job for the glow plug to be pulled out of the head. For normal engines, when you got a four cylinder, the glow plug is here. It's very easy to remove it with a puller by hand. But as you can see, thanks to the magnificent engine of a boxer, we have no space to put the puller. So we need another trick to remove the glow plug without breaking it. The biggest mistake you can make is, in fact, to see to see this um, glow plug broken in the thread or under the thread just inside the engine. That's the reason why for dismantling, like I explained to you in my first video, it's very important to have a, a torque wrench, which is also usable for releasing the plug. And you put it on 20 Newton meter as a maximum, and you will never have, a, you will never face a broke, the disaster of a broken glow plug inside the engine. But here, here is a trick I use to remove it without a puller because of the boxer engine. Once they start to beep and I'm sure that the threat is out of the engine, I just fill, I just fill all the well inside the engine filled with this special fluid. And this special fluid, after 20 minutes, after one hour, will dissolve the carbon. So the trick is you use this, this liquid once you have removed the glow plug. So you allow the liquid to go to that section of the glow plug, which is mainly responsible of the, of the difficulties to be removed. And after 20 minutes, after one hour, maybe one hour and a half, you really start to turn it with the tool I showed you. You really start to turn it by hand. Beep, beep, beep. And, and after a while, you don't hear anything because the liquid is starting to work to be effective on the carbon deposit. And, and after a while, you can pull the glow plug like I showed you. Once again, there is nothing difficult. Just time will be your best friend to do it. So don't hesitate to put a like on my video if you think it interesting. And the next time I will show you how to fit new plugs exactly in the same way. Thank you for watching.